Hello everyone on Ori's Oasis channel. This is Mistress Shawnee talking about significance of letters and what they represent. And right now, previous video we talked about the letter A. Next is J and then S, which is part of Kether, which is the top sephirot of the Tree of Life, which deals with the mental aspect of who we are. The letter J as well as the letter A and S are associated with the number one. So again, this is a number one letter. It also is Yod in the Aleph Bet. Yod is associated with I and Y in other languages. Um, it influences work in the hands. J in or Yod in the Aleph Bet represents hands of God. The significance about the letter J is if your name is James, Jeremy, Jeremiah, Joseph, Jesus, you know, Jesus, or, or however you want to call it, is the way that it's shaped. And, and I'm going to bring this to, I know a lot of you guys don't like dealing with the Bible, but the letter J is like a fish hook. And when you think about Jesus in the Bible, what is it he said in one scripture? He is the fisher of men. J represents a fish hook. When it's facing towards the left, since we write towards, you know, we write here in the United States or the way our common language is, is from left to right. Since it's faced towards the left, it indicates the past. That J indicates the past, which is good for good memory and knowledge. That's one thing that a person whose name is James or Jeremiah or Joseph or John or whatever, they have a darn good memory. I mean, they can remember their past and they're very knowledgeable about information that they are good with working with. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're also darn good workers with their hands. Again, y'all, hands of God. So whenever they want to utilize their ability their influences are working with their hands I, I know a lot of people whose names start with J in their mechanics um, I know a couple of them whose names start with J in their photographers and uh, also dealing with computer you know they're typing a lot but they're they're good with working with their hands sculpting and, and things like that in the Greek it's called iota and when you think about and that's I-O-T-A when you think about um, fraternities and sororities that start with iota they do a lot of hands-on work within their com community and they are able to bring in people uh with the knowledge that they have um because they are they work so well with their hands and they are knowledgeable about past and information and stuff like that jays normally are religious or spiritual they tend to carry a talisman with them most oftentimes it's a cross they either wear it or they carry it in their pocket or something like that or even on a keychain. They're natural leaders, ambitious and creative with accomplishing goals. The thing about J, the, the, the people whose names start with J, they seldom ask for any advice whatsoever. You know, they rely solely upon themselves to find the, the result uh, and the solution for what it is they're dealing with. They're often... Op uh, apt to lose confidence only if there is one J in their name. You know, I don't see too many people who have two J's in their name, but they normally have one starting out in the beginning. But they also have a, a very, they, they have a very hard time having confidence within themselves. Um, and that's because of the U section down here. It's like a rocker or a rocking chair. So they're a little unstable in that portion. They also are procrastinators. They procrastinate a lot. The negative aspect of a J is that they are dishonest. I don't know, to, well, I know a couple of people whose names start with J, and they are dishonest, and they're actually a little bit sneaky, but the good side about them is they're witty, humorous, cautious, and highly clever, and they're honest laborers. And, and the downside, like I say, to the letter J is that they continue to destroy themselves. You know, this upward portion actually goes up towards itself. 
So the rocky instability part comes with dealing from this self. And this cup down here has the knowledge and information and wisdom, but yet it's hard for them to have full self-control of who they are. They always tend to look towards the past because, again, this is on the left side. But if they work on the instability and work on the self-confidence and work on actually allowing somebody to give them assistance instead of work, relying fully on self, they'll be able to sustain their life. Again, these are just the first letters of names. And this one is the letter J for James, Juan or John, uh, Justin, Jason, all of these people, just think about the people that you know in your family whose name starts with J and then ask yourself, or even if you start, your name starts with J, are you self-reliant? Do you, do you have a hard time dealing with people giving you advice? Do you tend to search within yourself, within yourself for the results that you need? Do you work well with your hands? Are you very wise? Do you have that wisdom from the past that makes you who you are today. J is a very important letter. It is also represented as the number one um, in the numerology chart along with A and S. So the things that you need to work on really is, I mean, your wit, is that comes natural. Your memory comes natural. Um, being able to hook other people in and they can gravitate towards you, that comes natural. Um, you know, your your ability to understand spirituality and, and things of that nature, all of that is natural. Even you being a natural leader, that, that's, that comes with you. Again, Jesus, John, um, all of those people in the Bible whose name started with J, think about the books that they have and what they represented. They were all very natural. They were natural leaders, um, ambitious and creative with accomplishing goals. All that comes natural. But the thing that you should work on is being dishonest and destroying yourself. Destroying yourself. Things are a bit rocky for you. But if you can work on that rockiness, if you can work on that and know how to connect yourself Fill in that void that's right here. You'll be good to go. So again, that's the letter J. Also associated with the number one in numerology. Next, I'll be doing the letter S, which is also in the first portion or the first number um, for in the numerology chart. So that'll be the next video. But previous one was the letter A. This one is the letter J. Honestly, think about the names that were in Bibles and the names of leaders, uh, John Pope, or uh, all of them had J's because they were natural leaders. None of this has ever happened, stands people. Pay attention to the letters and the numbers and what they represent. And again, this is Yod in the Aleph Bet, which means hands of God. You guys are natural leaders, positive, natural with your hands, and, 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 and you're good at it. That's the plus side. Just again, remember to work on the negative uh, in regards to destroying yourself and the negative aspect of being dishonest and procrastinating. That's the other thing, and having self-confidence. You guys could do it. I mean, really, you guys could do it if you look at the things that you deal with and you work with and the knowledge that you have. And those people who are around you, they also need to be aware of who you are and what you represent. This is just for the first letter of your name. And on that, you guys, I'm out. Peace.